there is a direct relationship between the physical organization of your office and your productivity. If you do not make the most of your workspace, you will not get the most out of your time. The size of your office and the level of luxury in its furnishings do not correlate directly or inevitably on your performance. So what do you think does? The three elements of the physical organization of your workspace that have a positive or negative impact on your use of time are tidiness, comfort and structure. So you want to make sure that the physical arrangement of your office helps you to use your time well rather than hinders you from doing so. You make a list of the words you need to remember. What words are on your list? Structure, comfort, luxury, size or tidiness. Pause for a second the video to answer and we are going to compare our answers right away. Option 1. This choice is correct. The structure of your work environment will have an effect on time management. Structure provides quick access to commonly used materials. Consider location and color coding to provide structure for your office. Option 2. This choice is correct. A comfortable office is a time management aid. The physical working environment should be agreeable. This includes temperature, lightning, and ergonomically appropriate furniture. Option 3. This choice is incorrect. Office luxury does affect time management. The level of luxury of your office furnishings does not correlate directly with your time management or performance. Structure, comfort, and tidiness do so. Option 4. This choice is incorrect. Office size does affect time management. The size of your office does not correlate directly or inevitably on your time management or performance. Structure, comfort, tidiness do so again. Option 5. This choice is correct. Tidiness will improve your time management. Accumulated clutter on your desk means that you will not be able to find things quickly. You will expend more time locating them when you actually need them. Just a short exercise, but what do you think about this? Recently, Catherine has taken the initiative and made some changes to the objects with which she shares her office space and how she uses them. She has no doubt that the results have been very positive. To learn more about the changes Catherine made, listen to what she says regarding the aspect of her physical organization about tidiness. I only have the files and papers that I'm actually using on my desktop and the only objects on my desk permanently are work-related objects that I really need to be there. On comfort, my office used to be too hot, so I have lowered the temperature. I have gotten a more comfortable chair and exchanged my desk light for one that is less bright. Regarding structure, I now have a convenient filing system that allows me to find what I want easily when I want it. All my files are color coded, and it's easy to accumulate clutter on your desk and to find excuses to allow it to continue. But if papers are left thrown around, it is likely that you will expend unnecessary time locating them when you actually need them. Plus, clutter conveys an unfortunate impression of mental disorganization to coworkers. Exactly what you need to have permanently available depends on your job. A monitor, keyboard, mouse and telephone may be enough. You may also require a physical address book and a notebook. Most people do not need much more. The details of a filling system are an individual matter, but you do need a system and one that helps you to work. Daniel and Mary both used color-coded labels on files to make convenient groupings, but they have organized their files somewhat differently. Here's how Daniel and Mary each set up his or her files. Daniel, I need a file for each month of the year and another group of files for specific people. Mary, I have a file for each key account and files for each of the four projects I am overseeing. It is common sense that your concentration level and overall ability to work will be reduced if, for example, your office is too hot or cold if your chair hurts your back or your desk light gives you a headache. Your colleague Wayne wants to make sure that his office is organized in a way that helps him to save time. He asks you what actions he should take. What do you say to him? You have the following options. 1. 
Make sure that heating, lighting and sitting in your office do not reduce your efficiency. Two, have an efficient, core-coded filing system that enables you to find what you want when you need it. Three, the only papers you should put on your desktop are ones that you are working on. Four, at the start of each day, put on your desk the papers that you will need to work on at any point that day. Five, only have objects permanently out on your desk if you really need them for your work. And six, have a simple, alphabetically organized filing system. What do you think? Pause the video, please, to reflect on the right answer. You need a filing system, color-coded, that helps you to work. The heating, seating and lighting must be comfortable. Only keep any object permanently on your desk if it needs to be there. And only have out papers that you are working on. So option one, this choice is correct. Heating, lighting and seating can increase your efficiency. The physical office environment has an effect on your concentration level. The environment should be pleasant and distraction free. Option two, this choice is correct. A color-coded filing system saves time. It enables quick visual access to frequently used materials. Option 3. This choice is correct. An organized and tidy desk will help save time. Working only with papers that are necessary avoids clutter. A tidy desk saves search time for important materials. Option 4. This choice is incorrect. Papers on your desk should only be ones that you are currently working with. This avoids clutter and helps you find what you need quickly. Option 5. This choice is correct. An organized and tidy desk will help save time. Working only with material that are necessary avoids clutter. A tidy desk saves search time for important materials. Option 6. This choice is incorrect. An alphabetical filing system does not save time. These file systems require you to read to find what you need. Using a visual system that is color-coded by subject is more time efficient. To conclude, the physical organization of your working environment has a direct effect on your time effectiveness. Do not postpone taking action on any aspect of the physical organization of your office that should be changed. Now it would be a great time to leave a review if you think you have an opinion about the course. You can change it anytime, of course. But again, your feedback is extremely valuable for me. Next, about more time-saving procedures. As you can see, this is very practical and habit change oriented and not complicated at all. We are not reinventing the wheel, just make it work faster and better.